Masters of the Baroque era meet masters of your Springfield Symphony as several familiar faces from the orchestra step forward into the soloist spotlight for the upcoming concert by the SSO. I'm Peter Stafford Wilson, the music director of the Springfield Symphony, and I hope you'll join us for this exciting concert. The concert master and the principal oboe are perhaps the most important leadership positions in a symphony orchestra. And we are blessed to have two outstanding musicians in those chairs here in Springfield. Sue Jean Kim and Lisa Grove will team up for a reading of Johann Sebastian Bach's sublime concerto for violin and oboe. Lisa serves on the faculty here at Wittenberg University. And this program will be our annual celebration of the Wittenberg community. Special ticketing is available for students, faculty, and alumni. And a special gathering after the concert will give current students and alumni a chance to celebrate this great orchestra, many of whom have ties to this great university. The harp is one of the unsung heroes of the orchestra. We often hear its gorgeous glissandos setting up an important orchestral moment. We even hear it playing virtuoso cadenzas in works like Waltz of the Flowers from the Nutcracker, but rarely do we hear it in a solo role. Well, that's exactly what's going to happen with our November concert of the SSO when harpist Jeannie Thiergartner steps forward to perform Handel's Concerto for Harp. Now, you'll probably discover that you already know much of this music, as Handel, like Bach, often borrowed his own melodies from other works. Antonio Vivaldi was certainly one of the most prolific composers of all time, writing over 500 concertos for various instruments or combinations of instruments. His piccolo concertos are among the most intriguing as they were written for an instrument that didn't exist during his, his lifetime. Well, to be fair, he wrote them for something called a flautino, or a little flute, probably a very high-pitched recorder. Remember the recorder you played in the third grade? Well, but he thought of it with a very, a very gifted player in mind. The modern-day piccolo seems especially suited for this music, and none better than our own piccolo master, Joan Herndon, to perform this timeless music. Dan Zeringer, our principal trumpet, is one of the most prominent artists in the SSO. Much like the piccolo, there is no anonymity when you play principal trumpet. The king of bravura, this instrument heralds the climax of just about every musical masterpiece. Will we ever forget when Dan brought his troop from Wright State for the Verdi Requiem. 16 trumpets spread throughout the hall, heralding the end of the world. Well, Telemann's music is not quite so apocalyptic, but it is brilliant, and it is technically demanding nonetheless, and in no better hands than Dan Zeringer. Rounding out this program will be two works for the orchestra alone, the delightful suite from Dardanus by Jean-Philippe Rameau, and a concerto grosso by George Frederick Handel. Time and time again, we are reminded of the excellence of our own Springfield Symphony Orchestra. Here's a chance to celebrate our own distinguished leaders in an exhilarating concert of music of the Baroque era.